Welcome to Love Them Knives channel. Just checking out this QSP knife. It's called the Ripley. Huh. It's a glide lock. It's 14C28N blade steel. It's black and green G10. Yeah, this is one of the ones I saw in Atlanta that I thought was interesting. I mean, look at that blade shape. Reminds me a little bit of the Vostid Raccoon. A bit, doesn't it? Ambidextrous thumb studs. Yeah, 14C. Pocket clip plug here so you can reverse your pocket clip deep carry i like the way they set it up though that's good that goes into the over the lip of the pocket really easy uh they decided to do some stuff to kind of you know give it some interest put a little bit of design cue in there and that's nice but you know otherwise it's just a less is more kind of looking knife, isn't it? And it's not small. But that's a nice, that's a nice looking, hold on, let me see if I can get a picture, piece of paper from somewhere around here. Oh, there we go. Skipped over the paper. Okay, okay, yeah, it's, it's got a good factory edge on it. So I'm not going to complain about that. Definitely stonewashed, isn't it? Glide lock. Ah, so we've got... We've got some little inserts in here that are held in with screws to reinforce all this pivot set up here. Because we've got... Omega Springs going on and probably a captured pivot since there's no entry here and I think the other one that I got into recently had a captured pivot which makes sense I mean because you know you got David who's blade banner he's a YouTube you know if you ever been to his YouTube site or Bought a knife from him because he's got his own brand of knives that he OEMs out. Um, but yeah, I, he you know he thinks knife all the time, and he, so he you know he's advising QSP on doing this and that. These standoffs are nice, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. You check check my video out with him at the Atlanta Blade Show 2024. That was really good. Except my camera guy was back a little bit, and so it was kind of hard to see some of the knives. So you're going to see him a little closer this time, buddy. Um, which one is this? The Cali. Now I'll save this for another video, but this is the Cali. And... That's as close to Cali as I want to get, since I'm in Florida. Oh, and this is the Turtle Punk. Turtle Punk. Oh, yeah, baby. Turtle Punk, Cali, and Ripley. Now, those were my three favorites when I was in Atlanta for QSP, right? That Turtle Punk. Woo. That's not small either, is it? Check out my video on this. It's already out. This will be out soon. This will be out later. And this is a button lock. Okay. We got the button lock kicking here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Wow. It feels sharp, too. So this is... Not as big, is it? Nah, it's not. This is pretty big. But this is... I'm going to measure all three of them, then I'll shove the other two to the side. But... Yeah, that's a full three and a half and eight. Okay, this is three and a half and eight. So, yeah, okay. 
This might be a little over eight. It's three and a half. No, nah, three and a half and eight. Okay. This one's definitely smaller. Three and a quarter and seven and a half. Okay. Three and a quarter and seven and a half. Just remember that. There will be a test. It'll be next week, middle of the week. Okay. Now, let's get the turtle punk out of here, too. So the turtle punk is a liner lock. Okay. The Cali was a button lock, and this one is a crossbar lock. Wow. So they're bringing it all, huh? Doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. What more do they got to say about it? Stonewash, olive green. Okay. In here, usually they have a little spiel. Of course, they've got, you know, QSP and Better Life, Angry Wife, or Better Knife, Angry Wife. And then uh, the Ripley Glide Lock, Jimpy, three and a half. Okay. Um, all right. There's that. There's your box. So, Ergo's on this. This is pretty straightforward. This is really, you know, a little palm swell in here, but other than that, really straightforward. And, yeah, big old standoff. Big dog. Um, okay. And then just these little subframe or little liner, uh, you know, pieces put in here to give it what it needs for support okay whoop 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 but well that actually that's pretty stiff detent for a glide lock axis lock crossbar lock type of mechanism isn't it I mean usually these are pretty easy to th throw out. That is, that spring is holding that thing in really, really good. But I mean, you retract this and it, you know, and it drops just like that. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Good lockup, no, no messing around there. Let me see when this thing drops. Did you hear that snap down like that? Wow. See, it's, ooh, the spring is like going, we've already decided we're gonna be open. Wow, kicking it. Now let's make sure we aren't hitting anything. Nope. Nope. Let me take one more look at a different angle on this up here. Now I think it looks... it. Yeah, it's good. It's clear. All the way through. Okay, you're not going to touch it that way. Um, blade to handle length is good. This little little cut there and not a perfect flow into the bolster but uh, probably because of this right here because it has to match right up there let's see what we do when we roll around aha so we're hitting right down in here and that's way a hell away from the blade isn't it yeah. Okay, so we're good. No, oh, okay, they got that engineered pretty well, and it cuts good. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Just kind of curious. Twelve point five millimeter at point four nine. Okay, not fat, not overly thin. That's for sure. 0.13 at 3.3 millimeter blade stock and yeah it's all that okay so pretty 
pretty hardy blade stock up in here. Uh, feels good. Yeah, that that's definitely sharp. That's definitely sharp. And it felt that way when I was cutting that paper. So, ergos, once again, probably boringly so, but ergos feel really good. Now, these are, I think these are on sale for $25 right now. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> ah, crush your soul. Okay, $75, unless you get it, to, you know, I mean, QSP gets sold by a lot. If you got, you know, credits on whatever, you know, retailer that you might get a discount or LTK is your discount code on White Mountain Knives for 10% off. So if you get that, then you'll be at $7.50 off, which will get you in the 60 some dollar range, which is actually pretty damn good for what's going on these days. And yeah, drop point, blah, blah, blah. And there you go. Uh, blade, look at this. HRC, one less than satin blade. Okay. Wow, 59 to 61. Well, that's, that's not bad for a 14C. No, no, we're good. No, yeah, it feels good in the hands. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. This is a problem. You know what? Um, I hadn't really been paying that much attention to it when I first got it. And the more I handle it, the more I think this is one of those just good ergo, good feel knives. What, what's, what's the way? You know what I'm saying? Kind of like the Raccoon from Vosti. That really strikes me as just like a super great. And is that a crossbar lock too? No, it was a... Well, they did it in a button lock and okay, whatever. So let's get this. One oh three grams. That's not very heavy. Okay, run back around here. Oh, uh, three point six, okay. Okay, for an eight inch long knife and a three point three millimeter thick blade stock. That's pretty good. Ooh, where are we? Where's my balance point? Right here, almost dead under the pivot, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Not bad at all. No, there's no, there's no play here, uh-uh. And you know when it slaps down here? Bam! So, you know what? It ain't letting go easy either. Look at that. Hell no, it ain't. Oh, baby. That's got to be the toughest detent I've seen on a crossbar slash axis lock for a long time. I'm not sure that's a great thing because then it's going to resist you trying to flick it out a little bit, right? It's going to give you a little bit of shit on that. So you got to... Think about what you're doing. This ain't gonna just like tumble out. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta give a little bit of focus on there. Yeah, but you've got jumping up here, this and that. And you definitely are feeling this along here too. When you grip the knife and along here and along in here. So it's tactile for sure. And then this. Of course, fit and finish is good on these knives. I like QSP, they're just good. But uh, yeah, this one, I think this could be a great carry. I mean, full size carry user. I think you'd like it. Now, if the design attracts you, which, I, you know, I really thought the Turtle Punk would be my thing, you know, because of the way they you know, machined all these little ridges and everything on there. But to tell you the truth, eh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think, no, I don't think I'm going to go this way. Oh, it is. This is more of a real carry user, I think, for me with this flat grind. Okay.
So, if you want the Ripley, uh, I got the link for you. Or go to your favorite online retailer and check it out. The Ripley from QSP. They're, they're bringing some stuff, aren't they? Recently. All right. And you guys, stay sharp.